Dr. Robert Ott, a life dedicated to a noble cause. I would like to thank Dr. Gary for informing me about the felicitation function for our friend, Dr. Robert Ward, affectionately called by all of us as Bob, a true legend in his own right. He is a passionate teacher, insightful clinician, and a researcher for excellence. I once again thank Gary for informing me about this. And uh, I have known Bob from the early 90s, and he was a much sought after teaching surgeon and made many frequent trips to India to operate on head and neck cancer patients. <clears throat> My first meeting was during his voluntary surgical mission at Jabalpur, organized by our friend Rajesh Dharwani, who owns a huge hospital in the Jabalpur, also by our renowned maxillofacial surgeon of India, Professor Jain Kanna, and the General Avasti. After this, this bond became very strong. And that was the beginning of our lifelong friendship. At that point of time, cancer surgery and uh, you know this tumor resection and reconstruction has uh, had no strict uh, uh, algorithm or any proper protocol in our country. Bob should be credited for bringing in a systematic approach to confusing reconstructive surgeries of head and neck. His approach revolutionized Indian head and neck cancer treatment approach in a better form. Many people were interested and the success rate has started becoming good. By his great contribution to the voluntary surgical missions with his team, he made a big change in India. Since that time, we had had a number of interactions. Every time we bumped into the international meetings in the world, and we made sure we spent some quality time together, especially interacting the, our personal life and in a personal level. We share a very close bond and friendship. And uh, these are the pictures of myself and Bob at many international meetings. Bob has visited my hospital in Chennai and uh, provided many invaluable tips during his ward rounds. And uh, there is another common link that uh, me and Bob share. That is uh, his beautiful wife, Susie, and my wife, Selin, are both are Christians from hailing from the southern state of uh, the southern Indian state of uh, Kerala. And uh, we are deeply honored to have him presiding over our Indian journal, the Annals of Maxillofacial Surgery. His insight and experience will help the journal to reach even greater heights. During his visit to Chennai, he made it a point to visit me and uh, he has gone through my hospital and he has seen the cases operated by me and he has given a lot of appreciations and good comments. At this juncture of Bob retiring from active academic life, I am sure that he will receive the blessings of the Almighty God for the more than you know, thousands of lives he has saved and created smiles in their face. Me, my wife, Selin, my children, Preetha and Varsha, also my granddaughter, Gianna, wishing Bob and Susie uh, the very best of his life. May God be with them and their daughter. Thank you.